when when this, the sale was first talked about, until Ari said, "I'm not interested. We're not interested," and very logical reason why. I did think that they made sense. Not as much as Comcast. I thought Comcast made the most sense. Saudi made um, a lot of sense. Actually, a lot, a lot, a lot of sense. And Endeavor would have made sense. And actually, you know, other companies would have could have made sense too. But with this, when you can you can make both of these companies so much more profitable because you know you have the UFC has a staff. WWE is a staff. You can take that staff and basically merge them and have those people who are doing these jobs do the jobs for both companies. So you can do a lot of front office cutting. So that saves money. When it comes to negotiating uh, rights deals, which is the main business that both of these companies are in right now, um, they will have a lot of leverage by having both companies. And also, they will know what's going on in the marketplace because they'll be negotiating both companies' deals. So if somebody, you know, managed to come on to this great deal, they might be able to hook both of them up and come in with power and just go like, Peacock, just as an example. Um, you know, we can get you, if you pay us this much money, you'll get two big companies with different fan bases and, you know, whatever the, whatever the streaming rights are. Or ESPN Plus, look at all this money that you're making on UFC pay-per-views. Um, and this is where Nick Khan brought up the pay-per-view thing this week. Look at all the money you're making on UFC pay-per-views. Look at the profit margin you're making on this. Why don't you double that? Or, you know, it wouldn't be double because UFC is going to be bigger on pay-per-view than WWE. But why don't you, you know, increase it 1.6 times, you know, like uh, 60% more, um, because you can buy uh, and do the exact same business that you do with UFC pay-per-views and do it with WWE pay-per-views. They do 12 a year. UFC does 12 a year. You could do the exact same thing, and you can get more subscribers to ESPN+. Plus. plus, you can charge for these pay-per-views, and you're not even splitting the money, and you can make money like they're making, you know, very good money on the, the UFC deal, and you can do that. Um, it opens up, you know, different types of ideas for um, television rights, you know, separate com together. Um, you know, you can put them both on the same network if and, and uh, have a very powerful type of thing where you could do, you know, TVs on Mondays, Fridays, Saturdays. You can um, avoid running pay-per-views on the same night like they're doing on May the 6th. Um, and, you know, just there's all kinds of things that it's beneficial uh, to have both. Um, so the way the structure looks to be working is uh, Ari Emanuel will be the man in charge. Vince McMahon and Mark Shapiro will be number two. Co-executive chairmen, I believe, would be it or whatever the exact term is. And then underneath them will be Dana White and Nick Khan, who will be the president of UFC, as Dana White still is. And Nick Khan will be the president of WWE, as opposed to the CEO of WWE as he is now. By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp is the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low-key at first. like ah, bah, bah, bah. But he keeps going. He claps. I got a hell of a I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.